let's open a standard Koha OPAC. Uh, you can do many things here. You can log into your account. You can manage your account from that. You can renew books. You can leave uh, purchase suggestions. You can do many things. But one thing you can't do is leave a comment or leave a feedback to the library staff. That's what we're going to look at today. So we published a small plugin on GitHub. It's Koha plugin Ask a Librarian. We're going to open up GitHub here now in the browser. So here we are. So that's the plugin. That's a, that's a code for the plugin. And what you see here on the page below that is the readme file which basically talks about all that you need to know how to set it up, how to configure it, how to use it, how it works, the basics. Now, here you see there are something called two releases. This is what you need to need to go if you want to just grab the software. There's two releases. Get, go for the 0 0.9.1. That's a updated one. So we're going to download it. And we need to save it. Now, this is a very small file. It's just 21 KB. So it's been done in a second. That there you can see the file has already been downloaded. It's a completed download. So now we need to set things up. Let's go to a Koha staff client and let's log in as a super librarian. You will use your own user ID and password for your super librarian into your system. We are using ours. So we'll go into administration. And as you can see, there is no options for plugins in the administration now. Now, to do that, we first need to set things up. One of the things we'll need to do is to actually set up on the server. You would probably need to be a system administrator to do this or ask your system administrator to do it for you. So we would need to edit. We are logged in into a server. We will need to edit or Koha Conf XML file. Oops, sorry, uh, that's a mistake. So there, yeah, the right path is, yeah. Right, now notice here, this Koha plugin demo, this is our instance name. In your case, it will be different. In everyone's case, it's probably different. In our case, this is instance. This instance is named plugin demo. Now we're going to search for something for enable plugins. Yes, there we have it. That's the most important, one of the most important section in your Koha Conf XML file. You have all the things like your database schema, your database username, passwords, and all that. The two things we are after here right now is the plugins directory. That's where your plugin will be uploaded and enabling the plugin. Right now it says zero. Now zero here means it's false. It's it's been turned off. We have to make it to one. There we did it, and we have enabled plugins from Koha Config XML, and that's one thing that's done. Now we will have to do it from the so using Koha use Koha plugins system preference. As you can see, it's don't enable by default. We have to enable this. We enabled it, and let's see if it makes any change in our system preferences. So in the administration, we go back. And as we scroll down, yes, there it is. There is plugins. Let's manage plugins. So we have it there. Now, as you can see, there's no plugins installed right now. We need to upload our plugin. Now, where do you get it? Get this up, upload the plugin from? Well, we just downloaded it from GitHub. That's what we're going to upload, that kpz file, that kpz file. So there it is, our kpz file. We need to upload it. Just take a few seconds and there it is it's been installed now just because it's been installed doesn't mean that everything is done it's not so if you look at our OPAC there's still nothing there there's no change it's still whatever there was now so we have to go into configure we to configure it that's the config this is the configuration page uh, just a second Yep. 
Now, as you can see, it adds few things to the Koha users JS and the Koha header. That's how this plugin works. Right now, the Koha user JS is there is completely blank. There's nothing here. We're going to see. We're going to see in a minute how it works. Uh, now we go back. We say enable this plugin. Save configuration. You must click on save. That's important. And we're back to the plugins page. Let's see if we have, if it's really added anything to our OPEC user JS. It's been updated or not. So let's search for it. Voila, there it is. It has added a uh, quite a bit of JavaScript. There it is. Yes, 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 yes. Let's refresh our OPAC, see if there's any change. And yes, there you have Ask a Library, and then you click on it, and this form pops up. The, the feedback form, the user feedback form pops up. Now it's still not completely done yet. We can't still use it. We need to do a few more things before we can do that and for that we have to set up a few more things the first thing that's important is that this sends out email alerts to the user who has just given this feedback his or her feedback so koha admin email address needs to be set set up properly so which also means that your koha instance should also be configured for emails and email should be working before you you can do this in the in our case it's already working so we'll set it up to l2c2 tech m01 at gmail in your case it will be different so you just use the e whatever email you're using for all the email alerts in your koha it's probably if it's if you're already using email on koha it's probably already set up for you now just to take a look quick look back what else we need to do yes this is one of the most critical things this this has to be has to be done otherwise you'll end up with a lot of errors or things will simply not work so this has to be this is this is different from every user in this example in the readme as you can see it uses an example of an instance which is named as covers as you can see covers but in our case in this video our instance is called plugin demo so in your case use whatever is your instance name just remember this and in fact we have already prepared the file and there you have the file yes as you can see same code but instead of covers we have plugin demo so one two three so all the three locations where it said covers it's all plugin demo we're going to copy this and we will switch to our server and we need to add it to our apache configuration which is at atc apache 2 slash sites enabled sites available slash plugin demo dot conf so here is your Koha Apache configuration, the OPAC and the internet, just go down all the way right after the last one and there just paste it. Yeah, that's it. We have added it. It's the code is added, which and we save it. And so that our its settings are reloaded. We let, let us restart Apache while we are at it. And we are back in business so let's refresh the OPAC once once more again and let's try to set up send out our first feedback so there you have it phone number email and uh, I'm going to use my own email account in redigi at the red l2c2.co.in and I'm going to leave a comment. The Ask a Librarian Koha plugin. Adds a feedback form to the Koha OPAC. That's just a sample comment or feedback that we want to leave to our librarian here or make believe librarian here and it says your message has been recorded successfully okay uh, let's see what happens so can we see has it been saved if it is where is, where is it where is that message so let's see 
if things worked then the plugin should have sent an email to indradg at the red l2c2.co.in yes we did it is as you see that is the email we used for the admin email and says thank you for using the user feedback service with all the details including our date, date and timestamp and the IP address and that there is you have the comment that we put in your phone our phone number email address name and so on and so forth and says it will be notified as required so the user have gotten an acknowledgement of his or her inputs now let's see as a librarian how can we see what the user has sent us in feedback so we have we go to the report section and again it opens up and say run report now uh, while we can add like to and from to like limit it has two options you can see it on the screen or can you see it as a as a CSV file so we'll just run the report as HTML and there you have it we see uh, that feedback we received this this we are seeing as a librarian as a library stuff now again we'll run it once more and this but however this time we will want we want to download the data so we will run the report and there we have it so save it or open it in this case we'll just save it I use LibreOffice Calc you can use Excel it works just fine with either of them so there is it's a CSV file is a comma separated value file and there it is it's been imported our data is now has come up from the Koha database from our plugin and into our spreadsheet on our desktop there we have it we can do we can process it we can file it we can do whatever we need to do with it